All right, welcome to video 15. All right, now we have been basically talking about the unique relationship that the early Jewish nation has with the sons of God and these watchers. And as you now know, that their lineage comes directly from that of the lineage of the Nephilim, which would be the sons of God, known as the Nodites. And they are in Genesis, in Genesis, dealing with Genesis 6. So, as you can see, that now it explains why they have all of these unique possessions why they even have these UFO encounters, which we've already started this whole video series with. So we've gone from one video one to video 15 in a complete circle and have brought you back to right where we started. Now they have also another unique machine known as the Ark of the Covenant. Now the Ark of the Covenant is an incredible machine that yes they are in possession of because of their unique relationship with these beings that do have this knowledge this technology that is off world this technology that comes from civilizations from other planets that we think is some magic of some sort from the gods which is in reality nothing more than just the knowledge of civilization and its arts from other planets brought to this world by these beings known as the sons of God who while they were here 60 of them rebelled and began to take on Godhood they began to accept worship as they were gods and in the process began to divvy out these special instruments these special magical formulas these special seer stones and all sorts of other implements and creations and knowledge that they were divvying out to their subjects and their followers. Now, I would like to go ahead and read right now what we've got for us here. And what we're going to talk about is divination. And the divination is an attempt to foretell the unknown by occult means. Now that is a definition directly out of the Strong's Concordance. Now, the early Jews are using divination. They're using divination when they're using the Ark of the Covenant. Because as we know, God does not need to dwell in any machine or box. We are the vessel for the Father of all that is, that lives and dwells within us. If we want to talk to the Father, we don't go through a box, a machine, or a priest. We go directly to the source, the Father of all, the Father of us. He is a personal God, and we can talk to Him whenever we want. We don't need any special incantations or machines or special priests or special calendar days or special uniforms or special temples we don't need any of that the father dwells within us all of that unfortunately was some deluding of the spiritual truth on this world by these sons of god who rebelled and began to start accepting worship so we have divination so divination is considered as a system of fraud or lucrative employment, abomination. It's punishable by death, practiced by astrologers, charmers, consulters, enchanters, false prophets, magicians, necromancer, soothsayers, sorcerers, witches, and wizards. And that is, once again, the attempt to foretell the unknown by the occult means. Now, this is directly related to everything that we've spoke about. We're going to talk further about the Urim and the Thumium. And I will come back with another video. Thank you.